At the bottom of the molecular window, um, inside of your reactor plugin, you'll see the four different DSP slots. So you have slots for four different things, and the DSP choices that you have for each slot will differ for each slot. There are some that are consistent throughout all four, and then there are some that are different for every single one. And they've offered you so many here. So there are a lot of ways to sculpt your sound. So if I go to this first DSP slot, the spectral smear, and I click on the little down arrow, the carrot, it will see, will open up my different choices for DSP slot one. The ones on the right hand side here are the ones that will be consistent for every slot. So you're allowed to have a dual delay on every slot, equalizer, filter, level, and metaverb. And we'll take a look at them later and we'll see why those are so important to have on any slot. They can really help you maintain consistency between each one, things that you'd need. Um, the ones on the left tend to be ones that you really wouldn't use more than one of them. So therefore they kind of let you put one in each one. So I'm clicking on each one and we see there's sort of a different set of choices for each one. There we go. So I've got a pretty wacky sound here. Real spacey soundscape. And I can significantly change it by just swapping out a DSP. So instead of spectral smear, maybe I'll pick out comb filtering. Well, now I hear more of that original synth in there, a little bit more pitch. Instead of angel delay, maybe I'll pick the freezer. So now these things are getting, you know, every time I swap out a DSP effect, it's going to somehow change it up. And if I don't like anything I did, I can always pick a different preset and just jump right back, and there we go again. So really cool atmospheric stuff, and this is all coming from that original simple little ES2 sound that I made. There's my original sound source. So you can hear, I mean, it's doing quite a lot to that sound. Making whole new sounds, whole new soundscape just from that. And that's by these, this, you know, clever routing and use of these four different DSP slots. So we'll get into what makes each one of the DSP slots special. We'll take a look at some highlights from each one a little bit later on. But that's basically the idea behind it. You can turn each one off or on by using the power button, integrated power button, and you can solo them by tapping that. Now, although we've soloed this, keep in mind that it's still running it through the previous DSP. So if you're soloing the last one, you're still hearing the effects of the previous one. So um, if you want to turn off the other ones and really hear how just one of them affects it, you're going to have to legitimately just turn them off. So now I've got just the metaverb, that reverb because I turned off the other ones. So if you're soloing, you, you know, you'll probably want to solo earlier on in the chain. You're going to keep in mind that you're still going to get all of this stuff. So if I solo just the spectral smear, now I'm hearing that. If I solo at the angel delay um, level, I'm hearing the effects of spectral smear routed into angel delay and then not the chorus or metaverb. So there's a couple of different ways to kind of isolate your chain through the solo button or through bypassing, um, you know, with the power button there, bypassing the effects as well. Really, really flexible way to check out what each one of these DSP slots is doing to your sound.